All right, this is where we start getting into like new stuff. So you're going to want to, we're going to line up uh, these parts right here because when I spin this right now, that camshaft isn't spinning. So we're going to right click on that and go to open and we want to start creating um, an offset or a mid plane, I'm sorry. So we'll click on this side, spin it around, click on the other. And when we go back to our cam project, you'll see that it's on there. All right. We also want to click on the camshaft and open that one up. And if we click on origin, we can find the plane that kind of splits it through the middle. So it could be your YZ plane or kind of depending on how you made it, your XY plane. So I'm just going to right click on that and go to um, visibility. Hit save real fast. We are going to use our constraint and we've done this before where we use an angle constraint, a single angle constraint. We want to click on the work plane. You got to make sure that like where it says work plane two, that's how you know you're on it. And then if I hover over this one, see so you kind of change color and it locks there and I hit apply and okay and now when I spin this you can see those work planes are now locked together and we're good and now we're going to press save and yes to all and okay and instead of creating a plane we want to create an axis so we're going to create an axis right here on this part. And I'm going to create an axis on the click axis, click it through the center there. I'm also going to create an axis here and an axis here through the middle. All right, so I right click on that and I go to free rotate. I want to spin this around so it's right side up. Right click, click OK. And so now when I click on mate, I want to click on that axis and then I want to click on that axis. And if I click apply, Did I get it? Yep. So I can lift this up. It goes all the way there. All right, so let's do the same thing. Right click on that, go to free rotate, spin around so that the peg head is at the bottom. Right click on that, click OK. The axis will catch back up. Now I want to constrain it. And I want the center of the axis to line up with that axis. Click apply, close that. And now I can, like, look at that, it goes all the way through. Of course, we don't want it to, but there we go. All right. Right a good spot to then save our work. Now we're going to add these cams to our camshaft and get some movement going with them. So first thing I'm going to want to do is right click on this cam and hit open because we want to create a mid plane. So I'm going to go hit the down arrow on plane, go to mid plane, click on one side of the cam spin around, click on the other side, now we got a mid plane. And then I believe we want to find another work plane that we can use. So I'm going to go over to this origin, hit the down arrow, and um, I want to find the plane that goes right through the middle of our like circle where our cam's going to go, or our camshaft is. Um, so in my case, the YZ works, you can see the plane that goes right through the uh, center hole where the camshaft will go. Um, that one's too high. 
that one is actually behind my uh, midplane that I just created. So in my case, it's YZ. So I right click on that and I turn on the visibility. All right, then I'm gonna go back to my cam project, also adding a axis in the middle here. And let's use a constraint and I wanna use uh, that axis that I just created. So I'm gonna click on that. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna find the axis that is Oh wait, I didn't create that. So let's create an axis on, oh, that's why I can't because I'm having trouble. Um, come on over here, buddy. I'm having trouble uh, grabbing onto this. Here's a, here's a quick trick. I'm gonna hit escape. I'm gonna right click on the side there and I'm going to um, turn off the visibility. I'm gonna uncheck the enable. Now I can get like right in there. Okay. So click axis again, and uh, looks like I already have a line going through there. So let's try this. Constrain. Let's click on. There's the axis that I want, and there's my axis. So I click apply then I want to kind of move this over a little bit okay so now now let's constrain uh, and mate this axis that's going up and down here with this work plane that I created as my mid plane all right, hit apply. And then let's do a um, angle constraint. We're gonna go single angle or single direction. And we're gonna click on the um, Y or the XY plane on my camshaft. And then we're gonna create, click on the uh, plane that goes right through the middle of my eccentric cam. Okay, I've hit apply. And I'm gonna spin this around real fast. Whoops, went a little too far. And now we can see it spins around. All right, all that is locked together. I'm going to right click on the top and turn off the enable there. I can see right through it. Instead of on these parts, let's just turn off. So like enable, um, I'm going to enable these again. I'm gonna right click. Okay. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna take this uh, top part right here, I'm gonna right click on that and I'm gonna turn off the visibility. I'm also going to do that on the side there. I'm going to right click on that and turn off the, uh, whoops, here, I'm going to go on my browser. I'm going to turn off the visibility there and then it's a little bit easier to see. All right, let's click on the constraint and, nope, that's not what I want. I want transitional. I'm going to click on the uh, bottom of that little follower right there. It's kind of like the that part right there. And then I'm going to click on the eccentric cam, which is this top part right there. You saw it snap together, hit apply. And now when I spin this around, it works. Excellent. All right. Now let's add, where'd my, somehow it disappeared, not, not reappeared. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna right click on my pair cam and hit open because I wanna create a mid plane. So I'm gonna down on the plane, go to mid plane. We're gonna do the same process of what we did on the other one. So I'm gonna click on one side, spin it around, click on the other. I'm gonna add an axis in the middle. So 
So I'll click on axis, and then right there it is. And then also, um, I want to hit the down arrow on my origin, and I want a plane going right through the center there. So, um, you know, is it, it could be that one. Uh, it's definitely not that one. It's not going through the middle of mine. Uh, so for me, it could be my uh, XZ plane, or it could be my uh, YZ plane. So I'm going to turn on my YZ plane. And I'm going to hit save, and I'm going to go back to my cam project. And now I'm going to uh, start putting this together. So let's do a constraint, and I'm going to mate the axis. If I hover over that, I see that dotted dashed line. And let's click on the axis. All right, and apply. Now I'm going to scoot this one over. And it really helps. Like I turn the visibility off the top and the, the side there. So that's pretty darn helpful. Um, now let's do um, another make constraint with this axis right here. And uh, this mid plane that we created, that's going to keep that in line. Um, and, you know, if we hit this view right here, you can see that axis just lines right up perfectly with it and then finally let's do a direction in a single direction um, we're gonna click on that and then we're gonna click on that plane that's on the camshaft right down I'm having a tough time finding it that one right there okay almost done when I spin that we've got it's working now we need to add that transitional constraint with uh, the top of that and the bottom there hit apply now let's circle back around and make sure it all works. When I crank this, oh, I'm stuck. So that's this is a problem that I'm having. It's stuck right there. So how I fix that is I go back and I delete this transition, transitional constraint. And I, I gotta do it again. And so I'm going to hit constraint, I'm going to hit transitional, I'm going to zoom in here, hit the bottom of that, click on a different part. Instead of clicking on the top here, I'm going to click on the side, hit apply, let's see if that works any better. There you go, works perfectly, spin it around, looking great, alright, I'm going to close that relationship folder. I'm going to go right click on side two, turn the visibility back on, go to the top, right click on the top, turn the visibility back on. Um, I'm going to hit save before I go any further. Yes to all. Okay. And now I'm just going to clean it up. I'm going to uh, turn off a whole bunch of these uh, work planes. So I'm going to go back to my pair cam. Right click on the work planes and turn off the visibility. Do not delete. Make sure. And now you can spin it. It's all clean, all looks great. Good job. Save your work. Yes to all. Okay, show your teacher. Awesome job. You're awesome. Keep up the good work.